Morning, everybody. How was your flight? Go away. You're on suspension. Thank you. Mandated leave. Ends next week. So come back next week. Hot enough for you? Which one of you jackasses told him? It was you, wasn't it, Show? Yes, it was. Of course he called me. It's Red John. Can't keep me out of this. Why would you want to? You got a man killed. There's consequences. Uh, sorry I went over your head. I'll redeem myself, I promise. You want redemption? Be silent. Okay, I can learn to do that. Shh. Ten years, huh? More, actually. Every year with you counts as two. This is kind of a waste, don't you think? Well, I would have bought world peace if I could. I didn't have it at the casino gift store. Very limited range of items for sale. You know what I mean. I know those animals look lovely with your eyes. Thank you. It's beautiful, but I can't keep it. I understand. Well? No, it's just funny what bad liars cops are. I guess they're not used to concealing themselves under questioning. I'm a cop and I lie to you all the time. You never catch it. Oh, sorry to burst your bubble, but you're translucent, my dear. I always know when you're lying. Sometimes I let you think you fooled me just so you don't feel bad. Name one time. <clears throat> Last Thanksgiving, you said you're going back east to your brother's house. But I knew you were actually planning on having three days at home alone to watch old movies and eat ice cream. Okay. So that's one time. So what am I thinking right now? You're thinking I'm so glad Jane is joking around that he can't actually read my mind. No. Well, actually, yes, but, but not for the reason you think. What reason do I think? Never you mind. You're blushing. You are blushing. This is God speaking. You've made me angry, Michael. Very angry. And you're under... That's er enough. Arrest. Look. And you know damn well what you assaulted a man. Oh, I just tweaked him on the nose. Technically, that's assault. Technically, he's an ass. He deserved it. Yes, he is, but this is not a schoolyard. You simply cannot do stuff like that. I did. I did it. And the seas didn't boil and the sky didn't fall. They will shortly. Walcott is on his way down here with a $1,000 an hour lawyer. If you give him a formal apology, he says he's willing to drop the whole matter. Hmm, let me think. No. Would you please be reasonable for once? I'm busy. Right. I am. I'm just thinking that uh, he's going to drop the whole matter in any case. Oh, really? I guarantee it. He's a shallow narcissist. It's all about image. And this whole business makes him seem small and silly. Oh, you have no notion how good it is to see your face, Rigsby. Rigsby? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. Can you fix him? Lift the trance or whatever, make him remember what happened? Well, I could try, but without knowing the trigger, it'd be like you and I playing Marco Polo in the Atlantic. It'd take forever. And you get all pruny. Easier just to find a hypnotist and ask him. What are you doing? Well, there's no use in being anchored when you're tied up at the dock. Ah, after you. I can already see my hair with a big chunk out of it. You look good with short hair. Choppy little kind of Peter Pan. Good for the eyes. It's good to see you care. You know, sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Nobody gets in this place, especially Jane. Understood? Got it. Everybody L out. Lisbon. Lisbon. I, you, I, I, this, Lisbon, this. Bite me. We're done for the night. Bite me? It's too much? Uh, a smidge. Worked. It's fine. It's a little over the top. You know how many cases he's closed for us? You think he's given me bad habits? I think he's made me a better cop. Thank you, Lisbon. Can it, I just, quiet. I just... Okay. This is beautiful. Look at that. Excuse me. Would you stop that, please? Sure, no problem. Just having a look. Got some cool stuff in here. What did you tell her? I was complimenting her on her jacket. It's such a vivid color. That's a liar. 
You're gonna call me a liar? Oh, I hate you. Oh. I do. Circumstance, you know, it's, it's understandable, isn't it? I mean, he's a, had a tough time. That's just one more question. And the pocket rocket, the dynamite, heavily armed, cute as a button, Agent Teresa Lisbon. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. What you took from Bajoran's house? The toupee, Jane, the housekeeper called. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> That's just gross. Why would you take it? Evidence. Of what? Bad taste. Where's my apple? Your what? My apple. I asked you to get me an apple. I come through the valley of death and all you can think about is your stomach. A piece of fruit. That's right. An apple. Yes. Well, that's just plain selfish. Selfish. Yes, it is. Now Be I'm... selfish. Lisbon. Lisbon, get dressed. I have an excellent play in motion. Lisbon. What is it? Oh, get dressed. I have an excellent play in motion. You got a feel for the guy. He lost his livelihood. Eh, lost the life of getting hit in the head, but he got his marriage back. It just seems like a fair trade to me. Aren't you the romantic? Makes the world go around. Because I wrote the letter from the caveman. What did you just say? I wrote the letter from the caveman. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Why didn't you ask me to say it again? It was a rhetorical question. I just... What's that? This, this is my speeding ticket that I refuse to pay. Well, I'm not paying it. Well, I guess no one's gonna pay it. I'll get my friend to pay it. I have my ways. Thought that went well. You're gonna owe me big time. Uh, for what exactly? Oh, I... Ah, two words, anger management. Hey, thank you. Next time you come, can you bring some blueberry muffins? Someone took their time. Yeah, you're right. I didn't say anything. No, but you're thinking something. You're thinking whoever did this has killed before, many times. Yes, but I can't assume that. Trust your instincts, Lisbon. Disappointing, Lisbon. I thought you might push back a little. Guy called me a circus act. Hey, the man is grieving. You push back. Okay, I will. Don't you do. Okay. Said that I could. I take it back. All right. Okay. What's the time? Eight. Oh, we have to get going. Where? Uh, I'll explain it all in the car. No, you'll explain it now, please. Oh, I like it when you get all authoritarian on me. Lisbon? Hi, Jane. What's up? I had something I wanted to tell you, but I've had enough of this. Let me in or else. Or else what? I don't know, but you're not gonna like it. Hmm. Are we partners or what? Come here, partner. You skeptical and grumpy. Me confident, cheerful. You're only being cheerful to irritate me. I'm cheerful because I get to sit here with you in this park on such a beautiful day. So I'm gonna do one more thing for you. I'm gonna need the assistance of the irreplaceable special agent, Teresa Lisbon. With your whining. Don't talk to her like that. We are not whining. Yeah, it sounds like you're whining. You don't have to talk to her like that. Hey, back off. off. I won't back off. You needn't talk to her like that. Oh, you have a gift for me? Surprise. A surprise? That's right. You think you can keep a secret from me for that long? I don't think I can. I know I can. I admire your confidence. Anything short of the confession. What? Let's go for the confession. You wore a vest. Oh, this this old thing though, but thought I should look the part. I like it. Oh, that's, that's good to know. Patrick, do you take Teresa to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and health, for better or for worse, till death do you part? I sure do. And you, Teresa. Do you take Patrick to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and health, for better or for worse, till death do you part? 
i do.